This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. In the uh, dating simulator. Well, maybe because they are quite into some sort of like a pay attention to too much love instead of doing their own job or something. I don't know. Okay. Individuals suffering from the anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warning, please visit this site. Alright, there's some serious shit going on in this game. Hello everyone, welcome to the Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, why am I recording this? Well, because Sui got me. My best friend, my best German friend, my best German friend Sui got me with this video. You guys mind if I put in my mixtape? Well, I I leave the link link in the description if you really want to watch the full version of it. So yeah, here we are. Uh, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you're at least 13 years old age and your constant your exposure of highly disturbing content. Yeah, I'm ready for everything because I always do, huh? Team Salvador. This game is not suitable for- Okay, you already said that before. Oh my gosh. It already puked me out. I mean... Not just hate hating all the dating simulator, I just really... Can't stand with those arts. Maybe because they're skirts. They like- Oh my god, please. Please stay out of the way, please. Just- Please enter your name. James Carab. Without any space, so I'll go with Ghost James. So, we're here. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arm in the air like she's totally up, up lead, up lead, uh, obvious the two attention she might drew herself. That girl is Sa Sa Sayori. Sayori. Ha, say yori, say ori. I don't know. I I don't know how to read the Japanese either. No, anyway, say say yori. My neighbor and good friend since we are children. You know the kind of friend you've never seen yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We just to talk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she should oversleep more than more frequently, and I don't give tired of tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better of running away. However, I just sign and I I just sign an idol in front of her the crosswalk and let the Sayori catch up catch up to me. Ha <sighs> ha. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Ew, you say that like you you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, James. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine, but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to. You have in it, it in you to you to be mean even if you want to. What will you say, Sayori? Hey hey. We cross the street together and make our way to to school. Excuse me. Blah! Okay. Still, my chest cannot. My chest send a signal to my brain that. Oh my gosh, I cannot take this anymore. Please quit the fucking music and those art thingies. Then brain respond. No, you gotta do this. Fuck you. So let's continue. As we drew as we draw near, the streets become in increasingly spe speculative with other students make their daily commute. By the way, James, have you decided to on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm ready. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I have. I haven't been looking either. 
Eh? That's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she goes about, Sang really likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average while spending my free time on the games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you become a neat in a few years because you're not used to get a real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at the few clubs if it makes you happy. No promise, though. Will you at least promise me we'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise with you then. Yay! Why do I let myself get littered by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even met my, let myself re relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to e ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does accelerate everything inside of her head. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an unknown move motivation. Clubs. Sauron wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but start with the anime club. Why? I'm not into the anime. Why, do, why don't you just go with some kind of tech nerdy stuff, say? Eh? Because I'm a tech nerd. Hello? Sayori? Sayori? Sayori must have come into a classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized that I'm not I'm the only one who left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you delay your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meaning. Sorry is vice president of vice pre vice pre pre <laughs> Oh, excuse me about my vocabulary. Jesus fucking Christ. Why never why do I never re re memorize all the vocabulary words? God dang it. Present the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the f she was the first one to show interest after the one who pro proposed the club, she interviewed the title vice president. That said, my internet in literature is graduated. To be even less. Yeah, I'm going to in the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told you the club yesterday. I would bring a new name members, and Natsuki, 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 Nat. Ah, oh, fuck the Japanese. I mean, fuck the Japanese language. I cannot pronounce those things well. Fuck! Natsuki, na, 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 nu, Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. What is that, Pinkie Pie? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long time. Fine, I'll stop buying for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And those today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I distractedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being the general generally used to find their third wait, yeah, third year classes and activities. Sayori 
full of en energy, swing open the classroom door. Blam! Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Go run. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is this? Uh, Sayori always says nice and things to you about. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, James, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh, all words get me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Don't think so. Those things make me disgust. Ah. Really, I hate those things. I hate those visual novels. Well, that doesn't mean I really, really curse those things. Well, because it's a part part of the culture or something. So I don't. I really don't care about. It, but make myself into those things. I my every body part just rejects it. Ugh. You know, it's the thing. It's the thing when you when when you watch the. Happy three friends at the very first time. Jesus, it's exactly the same feeling, but that doesn't mean I'm into this novel. So anyway, what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, not Natsuki. Huh? The girl with the sore out attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably your first year. She's also one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she got moody. Sayori says that's quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears come Terribly more measured and tim timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, nice to see you. Nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, isn't that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, James. I never saw you before. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genially feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, James. We made room for you at the table so you can. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged for to a form table. As Sayuri mentioned, it's been winded. Winded so that there is one place next to Monica and one place next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walked over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed the wrapped trays and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki prou proudly marched back to the table and tried a hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts up the foil of the tray to reveal dozen wait, dozen do a dozen white. Full furry cupcake decorate to look like little cats. Then winkers are drawn with the icing and little piece of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I have no idea you're so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry, t hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talked with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. 
I turned the cake cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I find that bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's it's not like I have not heard of this in the summer before. Make them for yours, anything. Huh? I, I, I thought you technically did, Saori said. Well, maybe, but not f for you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I got rid of kid's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. You returned to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully placed the teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Uh, uh don't let yourself get intermitted. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Well, frankly, I never enjoy tea in real life. I hate I hate green tea, I hate red tea, I hate every kinds of tea. Seriously. Except for the coffee and coke and Mountain Dew. Yeah! For the energy. And Red Bull. Don't forget about the Red Bull. Anyway, you really faintly smile to herself in relief. Monica raised an eyebrow, then smiled at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Monica that I was pre sickly dragged her here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so uh... That's okay, don't be, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. To me, just bring some, some sort of computer parts around me, then that'll make me happy. Even right now, I'm actually doing it. Yeah, right in front of me, there's a keyboard, there's a hard disk drive, there's an SSD, there's a CPU, there's a mainboard, which is kind of broken a few days ago. Fuck. Monica, I'm surprised. How you come? How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board mem board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? Ah uh -huh, Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity, <coughs> publicity, and how to prepare the how to prepare for the event. I'd much rather taking something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encouraged others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there ain't there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to starting something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes the cool events, like festival, that much more important. I'm, confi I'm confident that we can, we can already grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yay! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone exactly agreed. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they all de delighted by the idea of a new member joining. But still, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of 
exemption about literature. So James, what kinds of themes do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how to read, I've never really the past 50 years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. Me neither. Seriously, um, there's nothing to read except for the manual of the main board, the manual of the CPU, graphic cards, and other things. Even I, I never read any kinds of instruction manual on when I'm buying the game on Steam. You know, you, you guys always do that. You guys download it instantly and put, hit the play button all the time. I know. When I, when I read something, it must be the advertisement. Fuck, fuck those ads. Manga? No, 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 no. In real? No, no, really, seriously, no, I don't read manga. Seriously. Not except for the, the things that I have to translate. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki suddenly pick, perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of the reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build a deep and complex fantasy world. The levels of creativity and the craft man craftsmanship behind them amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. <sighs> Jesus, really excuse my vocabulary accent or some things and everything. Please forgive me. She seems to reserved and time timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that by the way her eyes light up that finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with the psychological elements usually measure me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do delight deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Actually, I read tons of it. Tons of tons of horror things. Well, that doesn't even feel like horror. There's like, wow, that's pretty funny fantasy novel I ever read. Always, always the time. There's a, there's some kind of bullshit going on in the horror novel, and there's some kind of fun. Maybe the brutal things going on, and there's a, some kind of weird shit going on, but that just makes me fun. I desperately guess grab something I can relate to the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or take me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful and changing the way you look at the world if only a brief, only a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dropped over to me for the split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about the cute things, don't you, Natsuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on the poem called... D don't say it loud! And give, give it that back. Fine, fine. Uh, 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 your cupcakes, your poems... Everything, everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> so I side I love uh, behind the Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poem? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no! Natsuki avert her eyes. You wouldn't like them? Ah. Uh, not a very comforting writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The tr trust form 
of writing is writing to oneself. You must, you must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerable listener. <laughs> be released. <laughs> okay, I think this is a great time for saving. Really quickly, just in case. Uh, how can I return? Yeah, thank you. And showing events in different interpretation of your heart. Don't you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Three dots. I guess it's the shade same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit silent for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri looks quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write the poem for our own. Then next time we meet, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone, everyone is even. Uh, um, yay! Let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a, gr a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, James? Monica smiled warmly at me once again. H hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I mostly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I've never said I would join this club. Sorry may have confidence me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and uh I lose my train of thought. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But but I'm sorry, I thought hmm James you you all I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. For me, I just jump out of the window if this thing actually happens to me. Not just hating, not just hating to meeting the new people, I just hate this situation. Right. Okay, I decide then. I joined the literature club. One by one, the girl eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Siren warms her arm around me, jumping up and down. H hey, you really did care in me for a moment. If you really just came for a cupcake, I would be super pissed. Then they make, the of make it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on the good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over, looks over at me once more. James, I look forward to see, seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my metacore writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey James, since you are already here, do you want to talk home together? That's right, sorry and I never talked to home never never walk home together anymore because she was always stayed at after school for a club. Sure, might as well. Yay! Is it all the Japanese characters does that? I mean I never, I never do any kind of dating simulator. So, uh, is it all the Japanese girls act like that? And is it only happens in the, the simulation or something? I mean, at least in this country, never any girls never act like that. At least in my vision, they're they all act like same as same as the boy, I think. With that, the two of us depart the class club room and make our own way home. The whole way, my mind wandered back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, 
I just need to make the most of most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess let's start with writing a poem tonight. For me, I'm just I'm I'm just gonna write. Oh wait, it's time to poem write. Pick the word, and your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever liked your poem the most. Okay, now I guess have to decide. Uh. So, should I have to decide between these words? Only one or most of them? I suddenly wonder. Bubbles, waterfall, lucky music, universe, words, tragedy, variance, embrance, dream, muse. Oh, just I gotta select select between between those ten words. Only one. Okay, I choose I I chose chose music then music pain. Oh Jesus fucking. <laughs> Game? Cool, I guess. Okay, music, pain game, and... Um, I... Massacre? <laughs> okay, things get weird, because every every game that I play is massacring all the bad guys. So, uh, fluffy heart, chicks, feaster, lust, okay, can read flower, worm, extreme! Cool, extreme, I like extreme. Climax, Papa, calm, charm, okay, major, uh, whistle, encouragement. Uh, there's nothing to choose, frankly. So I go with the uh, vanilla. Uh, no, whistle. I just go with the whistle. Scars, family, anger, desire, dazzle, insight, judgment, suicide. Okay. Why just headphones? Let's go with headphones. I, I. When I when I word suicide, when I see the see the word suicide, it's really uncomfortable for me because I tried I tried multiple times when I when I was pretty young, but not now. I'm I'm really far from there, so don't worry about me. Okay, so just from lazy comfort, prayer, sunset, childhood, contain contamination, brief depression. Huh, I know I'm taking the depression drugs, but why not? Ribbon, troll. Wow, there's so many words to choose. Memories and feather together. Skipping milk. Death. Sadness. S okay, I don't know why they add such a things like them, and I I don't know why these three girls right there. Can I skip this one? No, I cannot skip that one. Alright, why not? Dark dance, loud question, rose lipstick. Uh, question. I don't see an adventure. Uh, ocean, friends, sticky, firefly. Why not? Firefly. Oh, horror, shiny, rain cloud. I don't know why the rain cloud and misery is right there. Anyway, haha. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's go with the color because it's a li little bit makes me better. Skirt, awesome, yeah, awesome is awesome. Pink, journey, fun, fear, silly, promise. This, this part is heartbeat, playground, promise. Puppy, vivid melody, shopping, blanket, explode. Uh, I, amazing, that's amazing. Okay, I, you know what? I cannot remember what kind of word that I cho that I chose. Uh, play special love candy tree mouse. W w what kind of mouse? Computer mouse or animal mouse? So mouse. Maybe it go goes to the cute one. I guess bad pleasure, sparkle, shame, holiday. Holiday is the best, you know. Not recording this on a holiday. Hi again, James. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. But I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so I. Oh shit! I for. What did What did I just say? I was the last to come in, so everyone's hanging out. Yeah, I think that's what I said. Thanks for keeping your promise, James. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a com. Commitment for you, making you didn't die hard 
head first into literature when you when you are on a, a <laughs> to it. Oh come on, like he deserve any slack. Sayori told me that, told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang on hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you'll see in the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Hmm. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plows back into her seat. Don't worry guys, James always gives his the best as long as he having he's having fun. He helps me with the busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy is distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and James can can become good friends too. Uh, Sayori? Huh? As usual, Sayori seems ob obvious. Oblivious. What happened? What happened to my tongue? Why can I pronounce it? Ob 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 <laughs> Fuck me. Ob <laughs> okay, skip that word. To the real situation, she just put into. Put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? W wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to. Rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place So any nice gesture from you is a pleasure and surprise It will take me happy to no matter what I Is that so? Yeah, I wouldn't make a big deal if you don't want, want it to be All right, well here you reached into her bag and pull out the book I didn't want you to feel left out so I picked out the book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is how is this girl act accidentally being so cute? She even picked out the book she thinks I like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. What is that? Uh, NVIDIA update manual? Something? I softly take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pa pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that's everything settled in. Everyone's settled in. I expect Monica is to kick off some schedule activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be this case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but no notice her intense expression I, like she was waiting for this for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rumbling around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. I'm not supposed to occupy myself with something literature literally by myself like this. I guess I could always read some of the books Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening on the Sayori's conversation with Monica. We are probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm, well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what, what literature is all about. The problem is the the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. 
We just need to. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative mind. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to, how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can't do the thing to speak their great mind. Great mind. What's this? Sarah's talking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ahaha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. What works... That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes makes my gravy to me! Cupcake it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find it, I find myself smiling. In the end, Saori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding anyone motivation at all, Saori can't put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get out of the case about things. I can't help but wonder what it be what it would be like to see work through her eyes. You're quite closer than I expected. Whoa! I open I opened my eyes to find Sarah's face and filling my vision. I nearly fell out of my chair. Yeah, sorry. Wait! Actually I am not sorry at all. It's your fault to sleep like that. This is a napping club. Does your school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now, now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overhead. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You are always looking out for me, Saori. Hehe, <laughs> it's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very con convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. C come on. At least give me a benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri, it's raining all over you. Huh? Sayuri glanced around to herself. How is how is how is it raining all over me? You were the clearing in the rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out of our out all around here. Uh I run my fingertips down the side of Saori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush your teeth for this. But my hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your claw right there. Right here. I tried to wipe off the stain with, her, with my finger, but, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, sorry. Why do you think you, you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? That's super mean. Sorry about you'll thank me later. I started to button her a blazer from, from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Hey, 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 hey. This is so funny. What's it? Well, I just. I was just thinking how weird it is to have friends who does these kinds of things. Huh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about this. Stupid. It's okay though. 
I'm happy if you're like this, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Why this one is hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Eh, uh -huh. it did even when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever button it, you you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit it you anymore. What are you smiling about? This means my boobs got bigger again. The don't say it that loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, ah, why does it feel strange to siren play your buttons up like that? But it's so stuffy. You is not worth it all, yeah, at all. Sorry, I still unbuttons her pleasure once more. Phew, it's so much better. Sorry, puts her arms out and twirls her around. So if I keep this unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like this is a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you're focusing on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hey, <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of, take care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake up, wake me up in the morning. You're doing again, sorry. Ah, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell you with some time. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why do Why do we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! James, James, I can't wait for you to read yours. Y yeah, same. I felt the sound interesting, but Sari still thought a way to relieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah, maybe relaxation. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something that's so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much Im inspiration since I've never, I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with me? I can't wait. Sari and Monica ex exhaustedly pull out their poems. Sari is on the wrinkled seat of loose leaf torn from the spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote her in the competition composition notebook. I can already see Monica pristine handwriting from where it's where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly com comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. So who would you like the phone first? Uh, Sayori, because she was, uh, you know, the very youngest, uh, very best friend in this place. Because I feel, I feel, I still, those three feels quite odd for me. I mean, I don't know. Those those things just makes me kind of weird. I definitely most comfortable sharing with this Saori first. She's my good friend after all. So I did it. Three dots. Oh my goodness, this is so good, James! Huh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sorry, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not good I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sure your opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like this just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a James Bond. What? Did I just say James Bond? No. Fuck that, fuck that shit. 
What kind of bullshit pun is that? Damn, what happened to myself? And that makes feel extra special. Like I can't feel your feelings in it. Sorry, hog, that's sweet against her chest. You're so weird, sorry. Hey, <laughs> hey. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It likes I said before, James. Deep down, you're, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture, full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her at all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thank you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I read... I'm really bad at this. Hey, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blind in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub to sleepy from my eyes. Okay, this is some kind of purpose or something? It's, it feels like that. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish anyway a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sorry. This is just a... This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit a yes or no question. I forgot to do the last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was the bad poem. I came out nice or how should I put it? I should just like you. I s it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get it cranky. Cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey, hey. This, so this was so much fun. Monica is the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward though to it. So, next time, okay, maybe, uh, maybe the first and second, second section won't be the matter. I mean, uh, the second, it's we're gonna share the share my poems anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's do everything. Let's do everything on this video. Why not? This video will take to two hours, I guess. Maybe it's shorter than that, but probably. I don't know. What? Well, this is about what I, what I expected from someone like you. That's a little bit... Blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said I was bad. It, it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Heh. <laughs> Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagle can fly. Monkey can climb. Cricket can leave. Horse, horses can race. Owls can seek. Uh, cheat. What is that cheat? I, I don't know what that is, but something like cats, I don't know. It can run. Eagles can fly. They said as the title. People can try, but that's about it. Okay, why do you think that's the cute thing? Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all 
sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't. But isn't the point of the of poems for the people to express themselves? Your writing styles wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seem everyone around you do great things can be re really dis disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is in the put more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme in the end, but then but then made it the fall apart on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into than I realized. That's what I mean to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. So next. Let's do it step by step. Yuri, hi. Um, you stare at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for a finished reading. Um, uh, oh, so sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't f don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why did you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so is that bad? Is that no? Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in in her in her hand. I couldn't help but notice that. It's been several minutes, and we really haven't gone an anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What are you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form it form form fit the two together. Then end result, the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once you refine their train of thought, it's as if her demeanor, demeanor totally changes. Her stimulating is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. That's there are so many different skills and techniques techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might be, it might take you some time, but it it all comes with practice and learning by example, and try trying new things. I also hope that everyone else is in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit beast though. Beast? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't have been talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Don't mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily and and if it, there is a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The I cannot read those phones. What is what is that say? The tendalus. I can't. I'm I'm really I cannot sure. Behind illuminate beneath the. Amber glow. Bent. I uh, really. Who? Who the? 
Who the hell wrote things like that? I cannot read those, you know, writing phones. Gee, I can't even understand that. I'm sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. Yeah, kind of. You, you gotta just. Why don't you just use the computer and print it? You know, maybe we could just use the our own smartphone that just type it on the screen keyboard. What? I wasn't thinking that all, but it looked. It took you a long time to read. Well, it it took of about five seconds to skip that. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. I don't even know what it said, but anyway. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. Describable. It wasn't too short. I usually, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose? Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Haha. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about the ghost at all, James. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than telling a simple story or painting a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being simple, symbolically <gasps> compared to the go compared to a ghost, lingering in her hand, last remaining place of comfort, unable, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. So, here's the last girl, Monica. I don't even know who she is. Hi, James. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Not really, frankly. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course you'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flu until I'm more settled in. Anyway, what? Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, James. We'll, we all are a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. And Monica, I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in the comment. Uh, well, we may be a good friend, but Sari and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that may, that may be the case. But if maybe there are also some similar ties that you wouldn't expect, the way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other, will bring every and even if you show in its different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe and I get when reading your poem. Huh. You're, sh you're sure you're not reading it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I, I sound like Yuri. But in, the in any case, Sarah's writing has kind of general feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. 
That's okay. I love to see you're trying new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might a little bit best towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you to find what suits you suit you the most. Oh, I'm you know what? I'm reading reading those things and getting out of my breath. How you guys how you guys even doing this? Damn, I'm a little bit dizzy. I feel dizziness right now by reading all this. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh huh. Ah uh, ha ha. Anyway, do you want do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not to be very good. Well, it's cause I'll have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read then. So here's her poem: Hole in Wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction, the sparkle, proto, pro, products. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind, like film left out the sun. But it's too late. My retains, re. Retinase? Re I I don't know. Is that R or N? <sighs> Fuck me. Already scored with a permanent a copy of the English glass image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretched forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize you. I realize now that I wasn't looking at it. And oh, scroll. I can scroll down. It was too. Oh wait, where where was I? I was look. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was look in, looking in. So how? Oh, there we go. So what do you think? Oh, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah,、uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has get, gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems haven't been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. What performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if you know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of amplify recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An amplify? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming strongly. Maybe after everyone is better find better friend with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tips for the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets to fixate, fixate it, fixate it on specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this: if you can, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Of ink. So just move on your head and go right, go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. So. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my medi meteoric writing abilities. Even if they just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature after all. I sigh. I guess that's what. Ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sarah and Monica and are, are happily chatting. My eyes la and land Yuri's Natsuki. They glance in exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each other. Each of their expression change. Natsuki eyebrows frown in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What with the language? Huh? You did. You say something? Oh, it's nothing. 
Nasuke dismissively returned the poem to desk with the one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. You're s cute. Cute? Did you com completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have have to try that hard to come with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh? If if I was looking for suggestion, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did 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 by the way. Sorry, liked it, and James did too. Well, my opinion was like, what the fuck, same as the Yuri. I mean, I I didn't know what to react, so that's cute, I guess. That was the actual reaction, and Yuri did the same thing. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time ex Extabling my writing style. I don't expect to change any anytime soon unless of course I come across something particularly in inspiring Which I haven't yet Ugh. And James liked my poem too, you know He even told me he he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member Yuri, huh? That's that's not what I... Uh, you, you are first. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that James appreciate my advice more than appreciate yours. Appreciate yours. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate, appreciate my advice more? And you f you're that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would... To deliberately go out of my way to make everything do overly cute, see? Ugh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grow the size of bigger than as soon as James started showing up. Nasky, uh, Nasky, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. James, she she just tried to make make me book bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened if in the first place. What's the point of making your poem all convolute for no reason? The meaning should jump out all the reader, not force them to have a figure out. Help me explain that to her, James. W wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressed words in our language. It's only a way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most efficiently. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, James? Um, uh, well... How did I get dragged into this the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I, whoever I would agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, so, uh... We have to decide, but I really don't want to make them disappoint any of them. Help me! Oh my god! Natsuki! Natsuki, wait, what? Mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri, uh, but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I couldn't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayuri! Huh? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayuri uncomfortable. <laughs> How can you do if you keep fighting when you know you're making your friends feel like this? James, well, that's her problem. It, 
this isn't our about turn. I agree. It's unfair to others to interject their own feeling into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri wants to stack up jerk she's me. She would never. It's it's your immodesty that you never you you made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why exactly why nobody likes stop Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friend. I, I just want I just want every everyone to get along and have have me happy. My friends are wonderful people and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki poems, they're amazing because they give you uh, so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they point beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natsuki is cute and there's nothing wrong with that and Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were Why does only topic turn into a boobs? Is there always girls talking about? Big and beautiful Sayuri, Sayuri stand the term play Monica stand behind her blue and express, expression I'll make some tea, Yuri rushed off. Natsuki sits down with the blank expression of her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sari is vice president, I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself in to Jack. As a president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ahehe. <laughs> Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I was able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in our own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really sus suspicious of that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take, take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can't count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. Such genius person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay, everyone, it's just about the time for us to leave. How did you feel about the sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. James, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was the neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we do the same thing in the tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your phones will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With, with any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I note myself with the newfound determination. James! Ready to walk, walk? Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yay! Shari beams at me. It truly has been a while since I already had have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Okay, to continue this, I already mentioned this video will be the two hour, but you guys already realized the as the uh, progress bar. Well, reading caused me the headache. Really, I feel kind of dizzy, dizziness. I don't know why, but it happens. Maybe I'm lack of oxygen by saying saying too long. <sighs> so okay, I guess that's all for this video. So yeah, overwrite that. So yeah, I guess you enjoyed about my bad vocabulary accent thingies and about the choice that the chosen word that I choose before and other stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and. I don't think I'm gonna continue continue to read other visual novels because of this lack of oxygen.
for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna end this video right over here. Press like this video and you can subscribe my channel. Then I'll see you at the next part. I don't know. It could be the last part of last part. I don't know. I cannot show anything yet. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video so of this visual novel. I don't, I have no idea why the sweep brought me here, but he did. So anyway, thank you for watching.